Ugh. Is there no one in the... I don't think there's anyone in the room. I think I'm just talking to myself. Hmm. This happens very often where I talk to myself. Oh! Oh, we have people joining. Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday, January 9th. And if you are watching this in the live story thingy in the 24 hours after, hello. Thank you all for joining. Happy New Year to everyone. It's very exciting, 2018. Um, that's the new year, obviously. Hello. Hi, Janine. Ninth? Did I say the ninth? Oh, second. Oh, my goodness. I might have said the ninth. You know why? It's because I was thinking about uh, next week for some reason. I don't know. Listen, it's sort of early. <laughs> Many things have happened this morning. Uh, but Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm going to try and make this extra exciting because... I don't know. It just feels like it should be extra exciting. Yes, I keep forgetting it's New Year, too. And I remember when I was in... Um, in university and stuff and I would take notes I would always write like 2015 or whatever when it was 2016 and then I realized I am old because I am not going to be taking notes ever in that scenario so I will not make that error hopefully actually I might make it somehow anyway uh enough rambling hello today we are playing with die mine enchanted ocean we did an ink review on this like couple months ago it was quite a while ago maybe in the summer and um i had it at the back of my mind to do this one and i just never really got around to it until i thought you know what let's do it today because it's festive in that it has silver particles anyway um okay so we have enchanted ocean i am using my maruma nemosine notebook number 195 because I really like it, and when you're using a six millimeter Pilot Parallel, you need a lot of paper space. So, I'm gonna do that. I did not ink it yet, and I fear that I'm gonna make a bit of a mess. The reason I didn't ink it was because I thought it would be fun to look at the particles. And then for anyone who is new to shimmer inks, I'll just show you like my procedure for inking a shimmer ink so that there are particles in your pen. So what I usually do is I just kind of like roll it around like this. And then you can just, I mean, you, it's, it just, you know, disperses your bits into your ink. Um, you can also shake it. Oh, this has been sitting for quite a while. Um, I also tap it like this. You can also shake it, but um, then you're going to have some bubbles at the top. This is probably going to create bubbles anyway, so this could be a disaster. Um, okay, let us ink. God, I can't even open this. Uh, it's not too bubbly, but there is a chunk of particle because I had this sitting. Actually, I probably should not have had it sitting in that position. Okay. I'm just picking out some of the particles in the lid here. Okay. Okay, let's ink. The joys of shimmer inks. Just drying put my barrel back in place. Sorry, I, I, I wasn't looking at the screen because I was trying to not make a mess on myself. I'm just drying the, um, the section well because I got some particles on it, which means they're going to end up on my hands, which means they're going to end up on my face. It's a great way to not get sick is to put glitter all over your hands and then you won't touch your face with your hands and then you're less likely to infect yourself with what are you, whatever you have touched on your hands. Hello, Erin. Oh, welcome. Oh, I don't know what that was. That was sort of like a weird British thing. Um, okay. I mean, not that the British is weird. It was my British that was weird. Okay, let us do Enchanted Ocean. I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Um, I have not eye droppered this in a while, so there's no grease left. I just want to make sure. So how are you all doing? How was your uh, your new year? How have you been? I mean, it's the second, so it's, you know, two years into the new year. I hope it's still exciting and, you know, fun. Maruman. 
Nemo sign. Okay, it's crazy that a six millimeter nib could do that. Uh, this converter, I'm using the Con 50 converter. You can also eyedropper it, but the new converter is the Con 40. Um, basically the same type of design, but it has uh, like three agitator balls in it. So that would be Con 40. If you could find the 50, you can also use that. Either one will fit. Okay, and then I'm using the... Parallel, six millimeter. A couple weeks ago, you guys had requested some more of the Ackerman inks, and I have it at the back of my mind. I haven't forgotten. It's just that I haven't done them yet because I'm waiting for us to restock a bit so that you can you can get the ones that you want once we have played with it. Okay. Uh, and then the ink we are using... Um, the... Diamine. I want to do something fun for Shimmer Tastic. Let's see. Oh, that did not quite work, but you know what? I'm going to go with it anyway. That's supposed to be like a star of some sort. Mm, doesn't really look like one, does it? Um, okay, and then for a tastic, let's do this. I, I, I realize it's very messy and not at all perfect, but it's kind of what I'm going for because I'm basing, ah, I'm basing it on uh, this. Um, shimmer. Tastic. I'm not going to make that one a star. This one. I will. Okay. Shime, sh shimer? Shime, shiner? Shimmer. Shimmer-tastic. Um... Enchanted Ocean. Now, there's like a thousand shimmerings available now. Well, not really. It's I think it's probably in the 50s. There are a whole bunch of diamonds. I think it's at 30 now. But then there's also the five, uh, the anniversary inks from Giobain. There's the four anniversary inks and then the 1670, 1698, that's the purple one. And then there's a whole bunch from... Um, De Atramentis. De, De Atramentis. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. But I... So far, I've really stuck to the dye mines because I like the colors a lot. And I find them a little easier to deal with than the, um... Like the Rouge et Matite and stuff. Um, okay. Enchanted Ocean. Uh, yeah, let me write something. I was gonna write Happy New Year, but I kind of used up all my space. Uh, let's see... Have you made any New Year's resolutions? Because I have made not a single resolution. I thought to myself I probably should have started thinking about it earlier because, I don't know, it takes time to come up with these things, but. Happy. I did get a couple calligraphy books because I want to practice my calligraphy a bit. Happy New I'm kind of using this parallel in a, in a less traditional way and more of like a random fun way because I wanted to show you like the, the, the potential it has. It's not just a like a, a, a broad based calligraphy nib like it's really wild. You can do crazy stuff with it. Yes, resolutions are a waste of time and energy because well, I mean, you don't have to wait till a new year to do new things, right? You can wait. You can do it at any time. Okay, let's let that dry. While it's drying, let's take a look. No hello has been written. I know, oh my goodness. 
and last last one too. I just didn't write hello very much. Oh, I'll fix that soon. It is a gorgeous deep, like a blue green. Yeah. Let me see if I can change my light a bit so you can. It's like a deep blue green, great shimmer. It has um, that. It's the silver shimmer on this one, which I think is a really nice compliment. It kind of cools it down, and um, it has a bit of a red sheen. You can kind of see it where it's saturated there. Um, let me see. Yeah, there's that shimmer. It's great. It's also not so much shimmer or sheen that it changes the base color of the ink because I actually really like this base color. I think it's very pretty. I think the box is quite accurate in terms of the, the color. Um, it's kind of hard to see in this light, sorry. Um, it's accurate because it kind of gives it like this look. But uh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. I am going to make the sacrifice and turn the page even though it's still a bit wet. And then as I talk about the Maruman notebook, like it's really very fountain pen friendly. So this is the back side of the page. This is a, obviously a pretty wet broad nib and um, it holds up very well to it. So now I have to write hello. Um, just trying to think of like what, what kind of hello to write. Very basic hello. Hello. It's about time I wrote that, isn't it? Okay, next I'm going to do, okay, let me do a, I need to practice my old English more because it's kind of getting very horrid. But the problem is that every time I go to practice something, I just kind of make up my own letters. Like I blend styles and then I just don't practice properly. So that's why I thought if I got calligraphy books, I would have no choice but to follow the guide and stop making things up in my head as I go along. Hello. That's actually really nice. Are there any restrictions to using these inks? Um, you went to a store and they told you not to put this ink in the most in your expensive pens because they form clots. Um, the ink itself, it is safe for pens. So it's not like the shimmer is going to make your pen fall apart. It's not going to uh, ruin the structure of the pen. The thing is that um, it's going to be limited by the feed and the nib. So, I mean, the particles are really small, so they are suspended in the in your ink. But um, if you have a really, I mean, it, it depends on your pen because some pens have like smaller feeds, narrow feeds than others. And in that case, it's more likely to clog because once the particles get into the feed, um, you know, your ink flow is just hampered. And there are other pens that have really wide channels and that works out better for this kind of ink. Uh, personally, just because I don't want shimmer stuck in like stuck in parts that I can't really access to clean. Um, I don't put this in, I don't put shimmer inks in pens that I cannot disassemble to flush out the insides properly. Um, and uh, wait, let me just scroll back. Um, yeah, and you know, whether it's an expensive pen or not, like it depends on, for me, it depends on um, the structure of the pen. So I don't put these inks in pens with sacks and um, I typically don't put them in piston fillers or power fillers just because it's easier to clean if it is not that. I have no issues putting them in cartridge converter pens. Um, eyedroppers are fine because you can flush out the barrel. You can usually uh, plunge some water through the section and the feed. Most often I put them in Pilot Parallels because they're super easy to take apart and clean. And um, they're also, I mean, it, it also just looks fabulous in them. So if you're going to, I think I am, I have fun with them, but I'm a little on the cautious side, not because I think the ink is going to ruin my pen, just because I don't want shimmer stuck in my pen when I go to change the ink. So um, it's really, it's really up to you, like what you really want to put it in. 
I, um, again, I think cartridge converters are okay. You can usually clean those out pretty well. And um, it's just those pens that, you know, like with a sack, if you have to keep, you know, lifting the lever or plunging it, it can take time and maybe, you know, maybe a pe like a particle has just gotten somewhere that's going to take forever to flush out. So in the interest of ease, because I'm lazy when I clean my pen, like lazy to clean my pens, um, I would just stick to pens that are easy to clean. They can clog. I have never had a pen clog using the shimmer inks, but um, that's not to say it can happen because I know friends who have used them like in an extra fine nib. Uh, the, the ink flow from the extra fine was just not sufficient to kind of clear out the, the channel on the feed. So um, it can clog in finer nibs. So this one, I just thought I would take it out to show you. So the converter pops out this whole part the whole nib you can just grab the blue part and pull it out like pull it straight out the blue part comes off the nib plates come out and you can either put it in the sonicator or you can just you know put it in a cup of water and like swirl it around to get the particles out um it's pretty easy so i have taken this pen apart i've done over 400 ink reviews and i've taken this pen apart for every single one i've never had an issue so i mean it's still intact it's still working uh, you've had a few clogs with the Twisby Eco Broad. I would say that's because the um, the Twisby Eco is a piston, so I'm wondering if it created a bit of a vacuum at some point, um, or just not enough air exchange. So, but it can happen. Yeah, I mean, it it depends on the pen. It depends on the nib. I uh, I've never had a clog in these pens in the Pilot Parallels, so they're awesome. Okay, wait, let me just pull that up closer because that looks really good, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Okay, last I'm going to do a, like a smear here just so we can take a look at it in saturation and uh, some shading. Lovely. Okay, let's take a look at that close. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, the the silver shimmer kind of gives it like a, it's like a blanket of shimmer. But at, the, at this like lower angles, you can still see the base color. You can still see the, um, the, the sheen that's coming up. The ink, this is Diamine Enchanted Ocean. One of the shimmer inks, super nice. Anyway, I have rambled forever today. So I will spare you all further ramblings. Um, I'll wrap this up. We will leave this like this. Thank you all so much for joining. Um, I hope this was inspirational and helpful. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.